Yeah, we're ready. And it is running. Okay, let's check it. Okay, that works. That works. Oh, good. That works. That works. Okay, I think we can do this. Well, how's everybody today? There's nobody here. Well, it is the middle of the week at noontime, or almost 1 o'clock. Everybody's probably still working. Oh, those poor saps. I'm just playing with pennies. Let's see. Set up my screen right here. We go. I think we can do it. Uh, we got a lot of great people out here, right? I mean, you got Mantic, you got Blues, right? Clash. Where's Clash? Even the Cone, right? Uh, SJ. Wonderful coin up. Um, I'll have to look up and see who sent that. I forgot. But I really like it. That's going to stick around. Ricer. A lot of good channels. Neat stuff. And we talk about coins. This is Jeff Dunn. Well, I'm going to move this aside. Because i got a bunch of stuff here. Uh, Cheapstick just sent a bunch of Canadians yesterday. I went through and picked out some I wanted. And then what do I do with the rest? Uh, put them in the big show. Okay. Well, that's, that's one way to do it. Uh, what if there's something else we can do? Let's start a new project. Should we start some shit or, uh, you know, just stay working? All right. Well, I got a bunch of Canadians here. And these are kind of hard for people to get a hold of sometimes, depending on where you live. Well, nope. I can't get it open. Let's take a bunch of those and put them in a baggie. Okay. Did you receive my PayPal payment? I'll have to look. I bet you I did. Let me look at my cheat sheet here real quick. Yep, I did. I sure did. Have you received your package yet? Uh, it's probably on the way. Okay, there's Lincoln. I promised Lincoln some, some Canadians because I had some of my uh, over my table. And, uh, and I got yours. These are other Lincolns. Okay, so let's put some of those in a baggie and set those up. Then, I'm going to need some more baggies. Good thing I got plenty. Then I got all these uh I got all these wheat pennies. Dude, I've got I've gone through them. They've been picked clean for dates and stuff. I guarantee that. All right. So there's not uh, you know, awesome dates in there. But there's some neat stuff for sure. Well, let's put some of those in a baggie. No, that's that's good. That's that's a lot. I can't shut it. Okay. You know what chain mail is? It's where you send a letter to somebody and say, you, you know, if you don't send this off to the next guy, um, all your hair is going to turn blue. I mean, look what happened to SJ. Come on. Okay, there's a bunch of wheats. All right. Then, let's get this out of here. Uh, I got, I got all these. I mean, just all these. Jesus, all these. I got BU rolls up the wazoo. Now, I've gone through them. I picked out the, I mean, the, the best of the best and put together groups and stuff. Well, I figure, let's just, uh, these look pretty good, actually. Here, I'll put one of them in. Uh, why don't we start putting these together? Because I've gone through, I've got my money's worth out of these. I picked through these rolls for, uh, you know, high-end coins and you know, die varieties. Make sure my set is up to date. What's this, 59? Yeah. These are memorials. If I can get them out. Well, let's just oh, let's move it in. I can't see anything. Let's put these together and make some chain mail. So the idea here is let's get let's send this out to somebody and they can pick through it at their pleasure. With the idea that you take something out, right? You're gonna put something back in. I wonder how how long do you think this sort of thing could last? This is 71. And we get Canadians, we get wheats, we get some shining memorials here. Maybe they got one that's already better than what they got. Well, what if we spent the five dollars and just sent this on its way? Would it do any good? No hurry on mine. That's good because I've been slouching the past two days. The pollen out here is just kicking my butt. I got the windows all sealed up. Uh, I take the pill so my nose ain't running. I just go to sleep for six hours. It's killing me. It's kicking my butt. All right. Well, it was like that every year. What are you going to do? Okay. So let's put a package together here. You've seen the take a penny, leave a penny. You go to the store, you know, years ago, I was, you know, broken suffering and I was working at a convenience store to pay the rent. 
and uh, and they had a little take a penny leave a penny dish. And there's always this one kid. He was just no good. I called the cops on him one time. Um, you know, him and his friends would come in and they'd get candy. I um, mean, the kid's like 20 years old here. He's older than me. Um, and he'd go through the take a penny bucket and just take every penny and buy candy with whatever was in the take a penny bucket. That's not what it's for, man. Ah, what are you going to do? Get into it with him? Nah. Ain't worth it. That's Mike Wolf. So what if we had a take a penny, leave a penny here in this group, in this community? How would you how would you work that? Well, they just have to pass it around, I guess. Somehow work away. We got a 70 yes. No, it's a seven, it's a 70 ones. Because one man's treasure is somebody else's trash. No, the other way around. One man's trash is somebody else's treasure. Well, I'm not saying this is going to be treasure in here. But, uh, what if we just start it off and pass it around? And somebody gets it, and they pick through it. Of course, you get that's what they're going to do. There's no stopping them. And they take out what they want to keep, put something back in, and send it off to the next guy. Will the package grow? Will it shrink? Will it just come to a dead end somewhere? We'll find out. Who knows? I think all I'm doing here is just setting the things free. But it's a start. Here, yeah, there's some shiners. <laughs> How about some S's? There's a 72 S. Throw one of them in. Because these are uh, these are brilliant. I mean, they're shining. They're uncirculated. They're, they're they're pretty, I got 70 S. What's this one? 70. But they're not tip top, but somebody, I mean, come on, this looks pretty good. This is what I say when they're not the best of the best, but they're pretty good. Let's see what the hell we mean. All right. We're, I don't, I'm not ready. Okay. Here's a 1970. All right. It looks pretty darn good, but if you look real close, he's got a, He's got a blemish on his face. A little line over there, just a discoloration. No matter, let's put that in. Because somebody doesn't have a good one. Wow, what an idea. I have a bunch of uncirculated 60s and 70s I'd love to donate to this cause. Well, I'll tell you what, Amanda. I'll send this to you. And you can take some stuff out and put stuff back in. And then send it to somebody else. Would that work? Would you be willing to take on that mantle of responsibility? I need some AU-70s for my dance go. There you go. I better put some AU-70s in here. There you go. That was a 76. Here's a 77. So, so Amanda, send me your shipping address. Right beside my head here. Let's see what just went in. These are 77s. There we go. I mean, they're good. They're pretty sharp. They might have a little spotter. Above the B in Liberty is a little contact mark. Oh, they're not quite MS-65s. All the good ones I, I took out already. But I mean, they're shining. We got a 77 in there. But now you can take the package and compare it to what you got. All right? Keep the best and ship out the rest. But you take something out, you put something back in. That's the idea. We get 71D yet? Oh, it's 79D. Here's a 71D. That looks pretty good. I'm going to try to handle them well. Yeah, because, geez, I got plenty of this stuff. If we could just keep this up, that'd be great. It's going to be hard to keep it up indefinitely because it's, you know, it's, it's going to cost you five bucks to ship this stuff out to the next guy. Here, what's this? A 2012. Oh, that's not open. All right, we're going to leave that hole. We need to make sure we get to see what people find. Well, you got to make a video, Amanda. You got a cell phone? Somebody you know does. So you can make a little, ooh, that's 59D. Yeah, we'll get that in there. Somebody you know does. What's this, 2009. Um, you got the president. That's presidency on the back. I don't like that one. This one's shinier. There you go. Huh. 
But uh, you can ship a pound, which is about 106, about three rolls of pennies here. 59p. That one's hideous. All right, this, this, I, this goes back to the bank. That's not even good enough to send in this package. Let's see. Nah, spotty as hell. But somebody would get that and say, man, that's, that's the best one I've ever seen. What's this one? No, no good. Just plain no good. Okay. Oh, stop! Everything's under control. Damn it. How's that one? That one looks pretty good. All right, let's put that one in. Okay, one moment, please. I'm going to need a few moments here to pick these up. Damn it. I have no grace. Have you sent the eighteen fifty one dollar back to me yet? That's it. That I got you right here, Rick, and a question mark. Okay. Eighteen fifty one coin. I I'm sure I have it. I, I, why do I have Rick here? He didn't pay. He didn't buy anything. Okay, I think I got all those. Oh, let's see, Brian. Cindy, Paula, Mantic, Black Steel, CJ, that's a heavy one, Mr. Rick Parlett. I bet you that's it. No, nope, that's a cop around. So I bet you it'd be this one then. That's it. That's it. Yeah, Rick had sent this by accident. Kind of a neat thing. Um, and I said, geez, uh, did you mean to send this? And there it is. It's a, uh, that may be silver. So anyway, I said I'd send it back to him. Yeah, uh, I'll get on that today. Now we should be okay. Too much sauce. Hey, easy on the sauce, man. Okay, so Amanda, you're going to be up first, right? And we should have the best part about three rolls here. And uh, keep what you like. Right? Try to add stuff back in. There's an 81. That's a decent looking 81. You don't get them like that too often. There you go. Try to add something back in. Right? Make a video. And, uh, well, find somebody who you can send it to. That'll work. What are these? Those are 1859s. 1959s. Well, I've done all I have for those. Leave them right here. Okay, there's a there's a decent batch. Yeah, that's probably the best part of a pound. Hmm. So take a penny, leave a penny. Let's try to get these in without fingering them up. And I'll just slide them in the package. Yeah. I mean, you got some wheats here. Sure, they go back to the 40s and and such. And you you probably find some decent ones in there. Uh, try them out make your collection a little better and if it doesn't well send them off to the next person maybe it'll make their collection a little better seems like a lot of responsibility there i'll just send you some all right well you got my address my email address right here i think we can fit in a few more how much is 150 weigh does it say do pounds how many grams in a pound 450 Oh, this only this only goes to 200. All right, somebody keep tabs here. Wait for it. What do you got here? Uh, 126. 77. There's 200. That's a half a pound. Yeah, we can do more because I got these things in spades. What do you got here? 2009 Type Two. Yeah, let's get one of those in. Oh, these are real shiners. There you go. Nineteen sixty-three. D. There you go. Get that in. Got a type two. What's this? Oh nine type one. There should be a log cabin there. Oh good. All right. 
Well, Amanda doesn't want it. Thank you, Ken. Let me know if you want me to send. Yeah, it's uh, three dollars for shipping. Send that whenever you like. You got my PayPal for that. I'm thinking about starting a series with on my vlog channel called Jokes with Josh. Anyone think it's a good idea, dude? Run, run humor. I actually have one. It's called Transient Thoughts. Uh, I got one video up there. I just haven't got back to it. I take uh, Facebook posts that are kind of off the wall and and just read them. Make a darn video. The whole idea is maybe it'll be seen like 17 million times and I can make enough to buy a truck. Um, it's, it's got no theme to it. Yeah, just tell a good... Just, the dumber the joke, the better, I think. I got this. We better put one of these in. A lot of people have never seen a BU week, so let's make sure we get that in there. Yeah. All right. I think we can make it work with that. Let's see, let's see. Gather these up. Mm -hmm. You better be funny. That's right, or you get a thumbs down. But they really, those count the same as a thumbs up. So, Amanda, you're out. Who's in? Who wants to be first? Who wants to first knock at this? You take one out, you put one in, you send them off to somebody else. Is this going to work? I'm planning some good jokes. Oh, good. That's better than I do. I, I don't have any good jokes. I got a lot of jokes. Some, some of them are long, but long doesn't really make them good. It just makes them, when's he going to stop talking? I'd like to be in. Josh, send me your uh, shipping address right here, right there. Send me your shipping address. All right. Now, you got to promise you'll pick through these, keep the ones you like, replace some, and then send them off to the next person. Right? Uh, let's see what happens. I will. Well, Josh got you first. Got it. Okay, there you go. And I'll get those uh, I'll get those in a package. Let me write that down. We gotta get Josh. Josh right. Josh, Mr. Funny, right. I'll put that on the mailing address. Yeah. Let's see what this does, if it goes anywhere. Uh, how often can we keep it up? I don't know, man. Do we start more? Do we just rely on the first one to keep it going? How many of these can we get going? Hmm, what if you started one on your own? I have PayPal now. Outstanding, Cindy. I've got stuff for sale. What are you looking for? We got flips. We got scales. There you go. Got the king of tools. 10x loop calipers as folders. I'll send some more. There's a neat one. Hmm. Stuff yeah, stuff you need. Of course we got wheat pennies by the by the sack full. A thousand I've got three thousand wheats at least over here available. They're a thousand dollars for a for no, not a thousand dollars. A thousand wheats for fifty dollars or seven fifty shipping. Please email Cheapskate Coins. Yeah, Cheapskate sent the Canadians. Oh, the memorials. I got those from Andy Timmerman. Uh, the wheats, uh, Tim Ratchin. And this darn thing. Uh, well, I don't know what to do with it, really. They're neat. They're cool. They're groovy. Uh, I got one. But what do you do with what's undoubtedly an ancient copper round? But there's not a bit of detail on it. What do you do? Here's an old coin. Nobody knows. You can't tell how old it is. Cheapskate sent this. He sent several of them. Let's put one of those in there just for just for shits and giggles. It's a piece of dark copper. There. Let's get that in there. And while we're at it, where the hell those go? There they are. In case you do find something, let me put some of these in. Junk. This is junk. This is junk. But it's neat junk. We'll, we'll put it in. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll put in a here's a dozen flips. Just to make sure we got something, you know, you can put the shiners in. Okay. Don't cost nothing to you. I'm gonna send it out. Right? You pick what you need, make your uh, you know, fill up your set because I'm sure you you know, start a set of Canadians, put something different in there, start a set of you know, wheats, put something different in there. Start a, you know, get your memorials completed. Put something different in there. 
and keep it going. How much for a 10x loop? They're $3 a piece. Now, it's uh, $3.50 shipping, but if all you're getting is the one thing, I do $3. It's no problem at all. Yeah, 10x loops. Now, they're written as 30x, which is why I get them sir. You know, for so darn cheap. Uh, this is what I use. It's the king of tools. Oh, the flips are eight dollars per uh, per hundred. Uh, Two hundred flips ships for five dollars because that is the limit. It's actually sixteen point one ounces is what the package comes out. Uh, but your best bet is get the boxes to go with it. You got the uh, you know, the two by two by nine red boxes, and I can fit you know three of those in a priority mail. So three hundred flips. Uh, twenty-four dollars, and if you go that route, the boxes I give them to you cost a buck and a half a box, and seven fifty shipping. But I can usually fit an extra flip in there, or you know, double the number of flips, or fit one of these in. No, I can't fit a scale in there with it. It gets tough. There's Paula. Paula, we're starting. To, we're starting some chain mail. I got some extra coins here. We got wheat pennies. We got Canadians. We got. Uh, some shining memorials. And we got this old copper thingy. We're going to throw in a bunch of flips. And I'm going to send it off to Josh Wright first. He's going to pick through it, keep some, put some back in, and send it off to somebody else. And let's see if we can keep this thing going. Yep, Wheat Pennies, $50. If you want to order something, get a hold of me by email because I need your email address to send an invoice. Is the way that'll work. Yep. Paula's got big plans for the weekends. Kids are in town, I understand. Now go raise hell with them. Alrighty. That'll be a good little start here. I'll put those in a bigger bag and oh, padded mailer and stuff. Uh, is this a project that's going to be useful, that's going to work? Uh, the experienced collectors, I think, might not be able to get so much out of it. They'd be able to start a package, though. There's a neat one. Start your own chain mail. Well, aren't they? That's what I heard. I'm going to have a movie with a female tonight. Oh, well, I'm going to a movie with a female. Yeah, watch out for that. Dude, uh, some of those females aren't really females. Oh, go with it. All right, let's see. Here we go. So you've got these. You know, you got the folders. Well, you can put together the whole darn set. All right, but you got to have the coins. Well, sometimes you get them out of circulation. Maybe you can find a better one in here. So you keep the best one, replace it, so you improve your set, and then send the package off to somebody else. Because everybody's got extra stuff. Jeez, I got a, all kinds of wheats around here. There's buffalo nickels. Maybe I'd get a buffalo nickel in there too, huh? Where'd those go? What's this? I don't know why it's in that bag. Um, yeah, let's make sure we got a buffalo in there. Where the hell are the buffaloes? I can't see anything. Huh. No, these are buffaloes. What is that? Here's a 1954 Roosevelt. Let's get that in there. Um, we got a whole box of buffaloes here. Where the hell did they go? Uh huh. Here we go. Here's some buffaloes. Here's a, I don't know, here's a 1929. That's all it says, 1929. There, get yourself a buffalo. Here's a, what is that? 1930, just plain 1930. Well, that's a good year, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's falling. Stay. Uh, scope. Yeah, 1930. All right, no mint mark. Let's get that in there. Maybe it's better than your current mercury dime. Maybe it isn't. If it isn't, leave it there. Send it off for the next one. Amanda, that's awesome of you to do. I don't know, I have a lot of small cracks and clash doubles, so I wouldn't mind sending them out for others who might need it. Uh, a pound of stuff will fit in a mailer, and I think the shipping is like four ninety two or some darn thing. Five bucks is a pretty small amount to, you know, let's not worry about the five bucks. And this stuff, yeah, I got oodles, oodles, oodles of weeds. I could probably spare, you know, a roll, right? A mercury, a buffalo. What's that one? 
What is that one? Scope. 1954. What's on the back? Anything? 1954S. There was a Roosevelt, a Buffalo. What kind of shape is that in? That's a full date. Yeah, that's probably very good. You know, they're not crud. If it was crud, it wouldn't be in the holder. I just sent it to see. Oh, CJ, I got some more stuff here, by the way. It didn't make your package. Sorry, uh, I couldn't find it. There's a start. Yeah, a dozen clips. Yeah, just a little something to help you out. Thanks, Daryl. We are going to have, we're going to go see Venom. Uh, uh, there's one part where the chick bites a guy's head off. You really want to go to that movie? I saw the previews. You watch yourself. Bites his head clean off. You haven't paid previous debts, said Cindy. There you go. I have to hit the road, says Dave. Just dropped in to hit the like. Thank you, Dave. Okay, that's what I've got for now. We're just going to start this out. If you missed it, uh, we got a bunch of, you know, extra surplus. Um, regular circulated wheat. We got some uh, Canadians at the uh, Cheapskate Center. And we got a copper. It's just wore out to a planchet. We'll throw that in. There's a mercury dime, a buffalo, a Roosevelt. Uh, there's a BU wheat in there somewhere. Some other little shining mer uh, memorials. And we're going to send this one off to uh, Josh Wright. He's going to pick through it, put some stuff in, and replace what he takes out. Send it off to somebody else. See how far we can keep this going. So if you get it, you know, put down in the notes in the comments here of the video after, you know, after the stream uh, that you got or who you're sending it to. Let's see if we can uh, keep this going for, you know, to 10. If we can keep it going 10 times. That'd be something. We can help out 10 different collections. Okay. If you want to start your own, there's nothing stopping you, man. Just put them in an envelope and send them out. Cost you five bucks and, and whatever the coins are. That'll be neat. Have a great day, everybody, says Lincoln. If you're after me, then be prepared to wait. I'm slow in the mailing, just a warning. Okay. You'll have to get... Uh, some type of envelope. You can get craft envelopes. They're they're inexpensive. Ooh, that is a good way to learn how to ship stuff well. Right? You take this one, right? Because I'm going to put your stuff in here, and uh, you can cut that up and use it, or hell, just paste over it with your next uh, shipping label, just right on top. You'll have to, you know, tape it up. But if you get your, a different envelope, you cut this up, and that's your padding. That'll work. Please tell SJ to check her email. Check your email, SJ. And PayPal. Had a bad fire last night. Wow. Oh, okay. You went to it. Oh, that's better. That's good. Okay, guys. We're going to get this going and set this free and see what happens. You know, figure it should be back in the mail in a month. That's plenty of time. Yeah, a month is good. I'll make sure to check it. Okay, guys, you stay groovy. I'll be back. Let's see. What day is this? Friday? Let me check real quick. Yeah, Friday. So we got Robert Lawson beyond tonight having a sale at around uh, 8 o'clock. Tomorrow we got Mantic Coins and Sunday the Big Show. So stick with us and stay groovy. We'll see you later.